I feel like everyone goes through this phase in life where they feel like they're not a chocolate brownie, but more for like one of those caramel candies that you find in your grandma's house that are most definitely expired. So that's what's been happening to me lately. I haven't, I haven't been feeling my best, to be honest with you. And I'm, I'm just fishing for some compliments right now. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna go to the most toxic place in the world, internet, to boost my confidence. So let's just, let's just dive into it, shall we? So I want to start off this video with this specific comment because I feel like there's such a hidden message behind it and it took me a while to figure it out, but I think I've done a good job. You are ugly, but singing good. I mean, I take pride in the fact that you think I have a good voice because usually my friends tell me that their ears are bleeding whenever I sing. So this is probably gonna be the biggest compliment I ever received in my life. I'm honored and I feel like um, at first, I had mixed feelings about this because, you know, they kind of offended me in the first part, telling me I was ugly. But I think the purpose of this comment was to just, you know, to, to keep me humble, you know, like telling me I'm ugly so I wouldn't be too full of myself and then telling me that my singing is good. So it's, it's sort of like just keeping me down to earth, you know, like they, they don't want me to become this arrogant person. He just compromised it perfectly. Fake news, can you tell everyone you're fake rapper? I've slowly your music and I saw your rap, you're a fake rapper. He, he really went off, like you can tell that he just held it inside for so long and he just he just said, not today bitch, like I'm, I'm gonna let it all out, I don't care. And there is a lot to unfold in here, first of all he called me in music, then he accused me of being a rap and then he told me I am a fake rapper, so am I music, rap, or fake rapper? Like you gotta make you gotta make up your mind. And second of all, he used the word fake so many times. Like if I took the shot every time he said the word fake, I would have probably kissing the floor right now. So yeah, I should have tried it in New Year's Eve, but too late. You smell like shit. Okay. I think it's time for me to address this because it's been uh, I've been keeping it inside for too long and I feel like some of you need explanation because I, I, I I'm embarrassed I'm humiliated and I'm I, I can explain okay the day that I was supposed to film that video I I had a bit of fishy smell okay I was I was a bit stinky and we're all human so there was the, nothing embarrassing about that but I was supposed to put on some deodorant, but my sister was sleeping in my room and I, I didn't want to wake her up, so I didn't put it on because I thought maybe you can't feel the smell through the screen. But I, I, I was mistaken, like, I'm so sorry. I... I... <laughs> you are bad. I think you forgot ass. Your face belongs to Ice Age Sid, lol. You crazy girl. First of all, I'm not crazy. I can get a bit crazy sometimes, but it's just human nature. And second of all, don't ever call a woman crazy because things can go down real fast. Take my advice on that. God will God always, will but their servants, servants always, always try, try, this. try this. Like what? Why? Like why did you think I needed to see this comment? Like I'm actually really curious because I spent a good amount of time trying to understand the hidden message behind it, but I think my IQ level is too low for that. So if you are uh, watching this, the person who commented this, I can't even pronounce your name because it's just so, so long. I first thought it was Chihuahua, but I think, I'm, I like, I don't want to make fun of your name. If it's an actual name, I'm sorry, but I really thought it was Chihuahua at first. So I'm just gonna let it slide. If you are watching this and if you commented this, please give me some sort of explanation. Like I need to know what you meant because i don't think i can sleep at night peacefully not knowing if you think that i'm a disappointment to god and god hates me so cringe. yeah i'm cringe what about that no i'm not i'm, I'm actually kind of cool and if you think i'm cringe what what am i supposed to do like should i not be cringe i mean actually leave tips if you know how not to be cringe because i'm kind of cringe I mean, aren't we all? Like, your comment is kind of cringe. I'm not gonna roast you because I'm gonna be a bigger person here. I'm not gonna come at you, Kraken, or whatever the frig is your name. 
but you're cringe. Your life is cringe. Okay, I'm kind of roasting you right now, so I'm just gonna let it slide. I'll take it, okay? I might be cringe, but at least I know it and I admit it. We're all imperfectly perfect. I'm, I'm gonna stop here. Why am I roasting myself? It is all supposed to be. I'm, I'm was supposed to roast you. Why am I, why am I roasting myself? Make your teeth. Make my teeth what? Make my teeth happy, angry, sad, cry, laugh. I, I mean, I don't know how to do that. Like, I don't know how to make my teeth feel feelings, but I do take vitamin D, which I'm pretty sure is because I have low calcium. So yeah, that's 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 all. What the fuck? If I have a girlfriend like this, I'd break up with her. Well, lucky for you, Eden. I wouldn't date you even if you were the last person in the world. I wouldn't eat you even if you were the last fish in the ocean. I wouldn't pick you even if you were the last donut in the mall. So you, you are lucky that we will never be together, ever. You fucking wish, man. I'm such a cool girl. I would, I would, I would rock your world. Damn, that boosted up my confidence. I got a little heated up, I'm not gonna lie. Where are you from? So I am actually going to address this because I've received so many, so many comments like this and I feel like it's time for me to um, explain you. I am, I mean, I wear from Zara, but I do not advise it because the quality is just not it and it's too overpriced, so. I got headache, bye. I mean, okay, like I'm sorry that you got headache, I mean, Am I a doctor? Is this is this the part where I'm supposed to prescribe you some medicine? Because it came to the right address, sweetie. I have headaches all the freaking time and this video is not sponsored. God, I wish it was sponsored by Norafen, but I strongly advise you to take Norafen pills. If you're watching this Norafen, please sponsor me because I take your pills way too much and if I die, that's on you. Casually says N-word. Oh my God. I am sick and tired of motherfuckers like this who think that I said the n-word, who accuse me of saying the n-word, but there's no n-word in the rap god. Please do your fucking research before accusing me of something so serious. Like, I am just so tired, okay? Let me go off. I need to get it off my chest. You dumb who think that you are such a bad bitch, like you just, you, you know, you uncovered this secret that I said the n-word and I, you know, like, yes, she said the n-word, let's cancel her, like, I never said it, okay? Sorry to break it to you, I never said it, I, I never did, I, I never did it, I never said it, there's no n-word in rap god, go clean your ears, I think you haven't cleaned your ears in years, you got some disgusting ears, gotta clean them, okay? Okay, sorry for that. That was way too aggressive. Like I promised myself that I'm gonna be like I'm, you know, like a bigger person. I'm gonna be the grandma of this household. I'm just gonna be the wise young lady. But I, I couldn't. Okay, fine. Whatever. Whatever. We're gonna let it slide. Let's pretend I never said that. Just kidding. I don't regret it. I mean, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh wait, hold on. I think I missed one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. On point. I, God damn it! I can read really good. I haven't, I haven't lost my reading skills yet. Thanks, college. Um, so this comment may seem negative at first, but if you actually look into it, it has such a positive meaning behind it. It's like one of those comments that really did boost my confidence, and I just. It, of course, it didn't top the first compliment for me because, you know, the first place, nothing can top the fact that someone called, someone said that I have a good voice, but this one, this guy basically thinks that I am so funny, like I have such a good sense of humor that I made him shit his pants. Like, I'm so funny that I made him shit his pants. Thank you, like I'm, I'm really honored, like thank you. Okay, so the next comment, I'm just gonna pop it on the screen because I'm not gonna read it. I think it's in French and I don't know why but I had this feeling that I needed to translate this comment. Like I don't know why because there are a lot of a lot of comments in uh, other languages but this one just you know it I felt like it was it was a sign from the universe telling me that I need to know what this guy's telling me and I, god damn it I was wrong. He pretty much called me really ugly in French. So there are two 
main points that I want to talk about. The first thing is that he called me ugly. Like if it wasn't in English, I would have thought maybe he forgot to write like cute after ugly. Like maybe he wanted to say she's ugly cute, you know, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? But no, it's in French. So he definitely meant that. And second of all, he called me ugly in language of love. That's all. That, that really hurt me, like that really did hurt me. But, but, not as much as this comment. Like this comment really did rip my heart out of my chest and put it in a blender and mixed it like I was some sort of beetroot. You know, I can't even get mad at this comment because it's so deep and I, it just makes me want to become a better person, you know? So, thank you. Like, I really needed that. Thank you. I was on an emotional roller coaster when I read this comment because it's just so tricky. Like, there are so many plot twists. So, at first, he goes with, oh God, and D, 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 D. So, it's like he put a lot of Ds, uh, which means he was just like, I thought it was it was going to be like oh god damn she's good but I was so wrong because he went like it's terrible oh god it's terrible I was like okay like wow that was that was good like that was really good you got me in the first part not gonna lie but like thank you you no not thank you but then he but it doesn't end there though he goes with heart emojis, not one, not two, but six heart emojis after the word terrible. Like, why? Like, why? Then they say girls are confusing. Like, what the f are you trying to say? This was this was probably the most confusing comment I've received so far. Like, are you in love with my cover because you think it's so terrible that it's like fire? Or are you making fun of me? Or are you trying to play with my feelings? Like, is this some sort of new pickup line? Because it's not working, okay? Plot twist. She sang it three times in normal speed and then increased the speed of her recordings. Noise. I mean, it's kind of funny that his name is Toxic Beats. I mean, at least he admits that he's toxic. Okay, I'm gonna address this for once and all. And if I see any comment accusing me of speeding up my my rap god cover like i will go freaking crazy so i never speed up my video okay i that was a brilliant idea i must admit like you guys offered me that idea a bit too late after i filmed my cover after i wasted my oxygen filming those three videos separately for you coming at me and telling me that i did speed it up no honey i did not and I, I'm just gonna explain it, not because I need to, but because I want to. So I, I put my earphones in when I was recording um, the cover and only I could hear Eminem's voice, okay? There was no music in the background and of course I was not gonna post me plainly rapping without music. And that's why I decided, and also I needed some support in the background, that's why I recorded the video first. I recorded my cover first and then when I uh, was combining the videos I put his song in the background so it will it wouldn't be so plain and boring like if you you wouldn't listen to me playing the rapping without music in the background so that was it and because sometimes I was rapping a bit faster than Eminem not saying I was rapping better but I was rapping a bit faster especially in the third part and therefore it was just that you can hear that my and Eminem's voice that it just uh, don't match but i didn't speed it up like you can see for my hand movements i'm not moving like this imagine me like if i was if i did speed it up the video my movements would be crazy fast especially in 1.50 speed so yeah sit your ass down if you can't do that don't come at me tell me that i speed it up okay i think that's pretty much it for today's video originally i was supposed to film q a video but then i decided that it would be more fun if i react to hate comments because you know it's good for my mental health 
if you want me to film a Q&A video, let me, down, let me know your questions in the comments down below. And don't forget to like this video because I will sacrifice my mental health for you guys. Just want to say thank you so much. Thank you to people who support me, who leave nice comments, who like my videos, who just, you know, who just watch, who spend their time to watch my silly nonsense videos. That means the world to me. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you made it this far, you're a real one. Yes, that's it. I'm just gonna dip. I need to eat. Because I, I, I wasted all my energy. I really need to eat. Okay, I'm gonna go. Have a good day. Have a great day. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.